It was communication that TV44's founder, Ron Mile, truly loved, particularly communicating the gospel. And because of his vision and determination, TV44 is what it is today. I got on the radio having been healed of stuttering just two weeks before. And uh, I went through the worst interview anyone has ever had in the history of man. Are you an announcer? I said, no, I've only been talking for two weeks. <laughs> Ron Miles' ministry in radio did take off, leading him to a distinguished career as general manager at Lima's WTGN Radio. However, Ron was ready for new challenges, and one day, a man by the name of Les Raker told Ron that God had something planned for the Lima area. That God had spoken that there's supposed to be Christian TV in Lima. Ron and WTGN would raise the initial seed money to start WTGN-TV in the mid-1970s. After a time, WTGN decided to focus just on Christian radio, and Ron left everything he knew to pursue TV44. One of the first things Ron had to do was go back to school to learn about television production. Then I was older than anybody in the room. I mean, <laughs> I was in my, what, in my 30s, I guess, still. And, uh, and they said, w what are you interested in this for? I said, because we're going to build a TV station. Oh, real doubtingly said that. <laughs> Did I care? No. Next on the list was getting believers and churches in the area behind the vision of Christian television for Lima. And as it turned out, it wasn't an easy task. We had a lot of opposition from the uh, Christian It's tough to talk about, but there were members of the Christian community who said, this will never fly. Again, Ron held strong to his vision and moved forward. He believed that Christian television could be more than preachers at a pulpit. It could be entertaining as well as inspirational. I, I knew we could, we could turn this thing around whereby it would become a normality to <clears throat> have something coming across the screen that glorified Jesus Christ, made clear the, the plans of God, and uh, we'd see souls saved. And that's, that's the vision I had for it. To produce local shows, Ron wanted a studio. That's when he found the old abandoned Lima Airport, located on Beatty Road. I'd been shopping, and I, I knew about this. Uh, this, this was uh, 60 by 80, I believe, and it's clear span. To anyone who doesn't understand, there's no posts holding up the ceiling and to get in the way of, of camera shots. I thought, this has possibilities. Now with a building, Ron needed labor to convert the old airport into a television studio. That's when an army of volunteers who began to see Ron's vision, armed with tools, came to help out on weekends. They, they just come in and they didn't expect anything but a, <clears throat> but a lunch. And we always usually had pizza. And it, it had some good fellowship, that was fun. The people thought nothing of just giving of their time. Not everything went as planned. Ron had an idea of the main studio having a rotating stage for local shows. We were in Chicago at CBS picking up uh, anything that was free. I told their chief engineer, who happened to be a Christian, uh, what we were up to. And I said, we've got a, a rotating stage in mind and we can uh, just have that portion already lit and when the when we're going to change divided into thirds we wanted to change programs we just give it a spin and he says Ron that sounds like a great idea he did he said that boy I wish he hadn't <laughs> Ron's rotating stage may never have received an award, but his faithfulness to the overall vision was rewarded when against all the odds, TV44 signed on the air on June 13, 1982. I'll tell you another thing that did. Uh, s some of these uh, Christians who weren't behind us, heartbreaking though it is, they, they saw that we were going the way of the cross and they came around. And uh, some have come to me and said, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that we didn't support you early in. TV44 was producing multiple local programs, including some that were live. But during the 80s, TV44's fundraisers were some of the most entertaining and inspirational live programs of that era, 
on the air live, sometimes for as much as five hours a night, and anything could happen. Behind me here is the Victory Club. Say Victory Club. Yes, we have, uh, all right, we have, stop saying it now. Oh, those were fun days. But th th those, those telethons, they're, they're, out of, uh, they're out of fashion now, but they were sure fun while they lasted. Ron left TV44 in the early 1990s to pursue launching TV40 in Toledo. Anyone could have done what I did, and that's not being Joe Humble. It's just I'm the one who, who went ahead and did it. And uh, that, that can't, there's not much room for pride in that, except pride in Jesus Christ and what he stands for.